My name is Steve Kraus, and I'm as a candidate for the New Knight Congressional District. And if you ask me exactly where that is, I still don't know. That Columbus has still not provided maps. So any of you that work for the Board of Elections, <clears throat> and if you could pull any uh, strings, I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, I am here for your support, and I'm here for your endorsement. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to ask you a few questions. I'd like to get to know you a little bit better. Excuse, excuse I'm, I'm, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to you, but explain though to the audience which uh, Democratic office holders oh, are involved in this. I, I, was, I, was, maybe, I was just going to get to that. I was just going to get to that. Um, are you content to let the Democrats win again in Cleveland? Anybody? No. 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 How many of you want two more years of Dennis Kucinich? Or worse, Marcy Captain. No. no. Okay, well, neither do I. Okay. I believe we can do better than that. Now, how many of you want to see the 9th Congressional District as a safe Democrat district? No. no. Did you see that in the paper? When they first drew it out, that it's a safe district. Now, I don't know what Columbus was thinking, but I am a serious candidate. I want to win this race, and I believe I can. Explain to them. Representative Captors and Kucinich's districts have been combined. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to get off a of script here for a second. I wanted to give you the speech, but that's okay. Um, if you were looking at Ohio and you said this, this was Ohio, and think of Toledo on one side and Cleveland on the other, and it looks like some little barbells hanging down. There's a little bit of Lucas County, and then it goes over into a sliver of Ottawa about half of Erie, about half of Lorraine, and then it snakes back up and kind of drops down into Parma and Parma Heights, you know, and uh, there's a little bit of, in, there's in, in the Cuyahoga County, there's a little bit of, there's Avon, Avon Lake. Um, I don't think any county has more than like 40%. I think Erie's got maybe 40, 45%. Lakewood? If, pardon? Lakewood out? Uh, no, I think, I think Lakewood's in. Um, it's, if you look at Route 2 and, you know, 2 and 90, it's a little bit north of, uh, of the uh, highway goes to east to west. So basically it's the, uh, the lakefront. And, uh, can I, can I, you, you, okay, what I think they did, just to be totally honest with you, is I think, you know, we had Marcy for 30 years. Now, I don't know how long you've had Dennis. Too long. Too long. Okay. Well, I think they finally decided down in Columbus that, you know, like a surgeon trying to cut out some cancer, he just decided, well, you know, we got to cut this out. We're never going to take it back. So we're going to make safe, because we went from 18 congressional seats to 16. So they shored up, like Bob Lattis District and Jim Jordan's. They cut out the rural areas where most of Republicans, and they put those in Republican districts, and then they just try to, now this is my opinion, I don't know, but cut out as much of the Democrats as possible and then just say, okay, we're just going to bunch you up there and we just figure we can't win it. At least that, I don't know, tell me I'm wrong, but that's, that's kind of what it looks like to me. But anyways, how are we going to win the 9th Congressional District? Because I believe we can win it. We need a candidate with bold, fresh ideas. A candidate who is willing to debate Dennis and Marcy on an open stage. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. A candidate who can articulate conservative values and ideas. Absolutely. A candidate who will motivate and inspire the masses. A candidate who can get the crossover Democrat and independent votes. You know, there's only about 43,000 Republicans in the new district. If I get all the votes, I still won't win. I have to get the independent, and I have to get some Democrats. You also need a candidate who can win at the ballot box in November. The stakes have never been higher, and the time to act is now. I live in the heart of the district. I will fairly represent both municipalities. After all, that's why Marcy and Dennis are both having a debate in Sandusky. Did you all know that? <laughs> On February 23rd, the Sandusky Register has arranged a debate with both Marcy and Dennis. It's going to be at the uh, Fireland's BGSU campus. 
Um, and they, they're actually, not get off on a side note, they're trying to set up one with me and my opponent. However, my opponent is uh, not interested in debating me. So, but if I digress. Why should you vote for me and support me? I am articulate, I can speak, debate, and advance conservative values. I have real solutions for the problems facing us, not just Fox News sound bites. I am willing to do the heavy lifting and the hard work necessary. I have the tenacity to see a job through. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. You will always know where I stand. I am appealing alternative choice to the two career politicians that are in this race, and with all due respect to my opponent. I will get the Democrat, and I will get, I will get the Independent and some of the conservative Democrat votes. I will get union rank and file votes. They will like my energy and job platform. And please see me later and I'll explain to you that. It is our responsibility though, as Republicans, to put our best candidate out there. And I am willing to put myself on the firing line. People ask me why I'm doing this, and the answer is really simple. I want to leave my children a better country than what I received. I love this country. I love Ohio and I love Lake Erie. When I was deployed overseas with the military, Old Glory, waving high in the breeze, always inspired me. She gave me hope and confidence that I soon would be returning home. In spite of all of our problems, we are still a beacon of liberty and freedom for the rest of the world. Americans are sometimes down and hurting, but we are never counted out. To borrow a Lee Greenwood song, I am proud to be an American, or at least I know I'm free. And I will not forget the men who died and gave that right to me. And I will gladly stand up next to her and defend her still today. Because there ain't no doubt, I love this land. God bless the USA. Will you stand with me? I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you now for your vote. And I'm Steve Krauss. Thank you very much. And if we got time, I'll answer some questions. Um, we'll, we'll do like three quick ones because we do need to move on. Okay. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Could you tell us what your background is and what, what gives you qualifications to represent us in Congress? Okay, very quickly. Um, I, yeah, the question is what are my qualifications for being in Congress and what is my background? I entered the United States Air Force when I was 18 years old. I served 11 years in the Air Force. I got an engineering degree uh, while I was in the Air Force active duty. It took me 12 years to get a four-year bachelor's of science degree because I was full-time in the Air Force traveling around the world. Seven-year contractor to the Air Force afterwards. I was in the first Desert Shield, Desert Storm, first Gulf War. I got out of that. I am now a licensed auctioneer and realtor. It took me three and a half years to get my auctioneering license bonded in favor of the state of Ohio, and also licensed realtor for the last four years. Uh, I come from a variety of experience. I've traveled around the world. I've seen a lot of things. I've done a lot of things. My last duty assignment, which I spent eight years with, was uh, Special Forces out of Herbert Field, Florida, uh, where the, I was promoted to a lieutenant colonel, and that's how I served, was I traveled around with Special Forces. So uh, I have a unique perspective. Uh, the reason I feel I'm qualified to do this is because uh, I, just to be quite honest, after what happened with Anthony Weiner this last summer, uh, 14 year seating cops, 14 year veteran, veteran congressman, exposing himself on the internet and being allowed to retire with full pension. There is something horribly wrong, folks. Horribly wrong. He should be tarred and feathered. He should be in jail, and he should have been stripped of all his retirement. Literally. I, mean, I, can't, I personally cannot wrap my head around it. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I, I was going to ask you how you made your living, but I can't answer. Okay. Um, let me get him with him. Yes, sir. I, I'm familiar with uh, the old Kucinich district. I lived there for 14 years. 
Lakewood's part of your area. If you you have to have a strategy for Lakewood. It's the densest part of your your area. If you take Lakewood, you take the district. So what what are you going to do for this group of people? I mean, there it's uh, they're old, a lot of old people who are retired there. Uh, so something towards medical care, but jobs. These guys have no jobs. So you know, anything you have, I'd love to hear what you're thinking about that for Lakewood. The question is, what, what Lakewood's in my district, and what am I going to do? We have uh, an older population. I mean, all of us, the whole, the whole district is an aging population. And what will I do specifically for jobs? Folks, it's all about jobs. Now, if all of you watched President Obama last night, wasn't that a recycle of uh, four years ago? I mean, let me tell you specifically about jobs, just very quickly. And I know you're not going to know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. Go to my website afterwards. Okay. And by the way, I do have cards up here. I have literature. I also have an invitation for a fundraiser if you would like to come to Sandusky to the Yacht Club on February 1st. But specifically on jobs, liquid fluoride thorium reactors. Now, what those are is a proven technology that was developed after World War II was shelved by President Nixon in 1973 that right now, guess what, China yeah. is breakneck speed to develop, when the, and the abbreviation is lift reactors. So for the brevity of time, lift reactors can use thorium, which is a very abundant, abundant fuel. They can also use, guess what, spent fuel rods from nuclear reactors. Now how does that sound, using something instead of burying it in the Yucca Mountain of Yucca Mountains, we can use it for electricity. It can bring, it's safe electricity, safe energy, and it can bring your $1,200 a year electric bill down to about $12 a year. And China's building them, and also India's working on them. The, other, the second part of this with the jobs is the fact that they need to be modularly manufactured. Do you think us up here in the north, north uh, coast of Ohio know something about manufacturing? Okay, the problem with these right now, the problem is that the uh, uh, Nuclear Regulatory Commission can't even issue a license because of the EPA. So what I want to do when I go to Congress is neuter the EPA. Yeah. Right? One, more, one more, I got this gentleman over here, I'm sorry. Correct me if I'm wrong, I got the impression you think Dennis is less evil than Marcy. Oh no, oh no, no. You know, th 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 that's a great question. Do I think Dennis is less evil than Marcy? I think Dennis is slyer than Marcy. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what I've been hearing because I'm traveling both sides of the district and I'm knocking on a lot of doors. The, the conventional wisdom is that Marcy's gonna walk all over Dennis. Mm -hmm. Now personally, I don't believe that. I think Dennis is sly as a fox and he's he was mayor since he was, you know, was 23 years old, so I don't count him out. Thank you so much.